Two, two, two. Oh, Jesus, that's very low, Lance. Very low. Just charm myself down a small bit. Right. Hello, everybody. Two, two. We're going to be kicking off to get all ten people and the three lads down there. Have you COVID, lads? Are you in isolation down there from the rest of the bar? We've got three lads at the raid down the end, and we've got a couple of people watching online as well, and hello to the people. And thank you for coming into the bar, actually physically to the bar, lads. Appreciate it. Um, all the instructions are up on the screen there in front of you. Uh, all you got to do is scan that QR code or just go to play.livequiz.ie. I'm just going to make sure that's pointing to the right place. It is. Come on, call them. Right. Um, so far, we so have uh, 16 teams in. Oh, don't forget as well, when you're actually joining in, if you're in the bar, you have to choose a team. So choose the bar team. And if you're at home, choose, choose home. the home yeah, team. Yeah, it's very, very easy. Um, my chat's not coming up there, Colin, for some reason. No idea where it is. Let's see if we can get that working while I'm doing all this. So we're going to wait for everybody to connect up before we kick this off. We have 70 questions in total. Colm, you made the questions. Easy, hard, what's the story? I, I, I don't know. One <laughs> man's easy is another man's hard. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. Yeah. Exactly. Um, apologies. So apologies to Colm and everybody. Because it's three minutes past six. Three minutes past six. Technically, three minutes past six is the new three minutes past ten. Oh, okay. So there is still a watershed. Poop. Just, you know. Poop. Don't uh, care. I can say what I want. Willies. Stop it, yeah, Jesus. I'm unchecked. I, ca I can't see I can't see the chat. I can't see the chat from people at home, unfortunately. They can send me private messages. Please <laughs> do. Send Colin. You know a private what's gonna message. happen now. Ashling Desmond is gonna be sending me private messages. Well, actually, here it comes. Yeah. Come on, thank you. Right, um, so yeah, we can't see the chat from people at home, so that means you have it's your to... Fir your first time here? You've never done the quiz before? Okay, it's not like a really hard thing, or it's, it's easy enough, right? It is. And all the questions are multiple choice. So if you're not sure, have a guess, and if you're lucky, you'll get an answer right. And I promise, the quiz is usually better than this, because of the COVID thing, and we only allow a select few in. If you haven't been out in a while, Anybody COVID know? exists. It books. It's a thing now. Uh, oh, here we go, private message. Ye of, oh, she, ye of little faith, she watched, WhatsApped me. Yes, she WhatsApped you. People are now WhatsApping Colm instead of actually getting into the chat. And Mark O'Sullivan is doing it, and he sent me a photograph. And he says he's ready to do the quiz. <laughs> With two masks on. Well done. He's also uh, protecting his brain, because that's what the government wants you to you think. You can't see any of that. Yeah. Right, you know, so we're going to give you one or two minutes to connect up, and then we're going to kick it off. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, there's about a 30 second delay. If you're watching on YouTube, there's about a 10 second delay. If you're watching on Twitch, there's about a six second delay. That's how it works. So Twitch is the best way to watch us, but YouTube is probably the easiest way to watch us. You don't have to go signing up to nothing. I, I would just like to point out to anyone here who hasn't ordered food, the food coming out of the kitchen looks on point. It looks amazing. So if you're looking for nice food, that is the, it's definitely something you should be thinking about. So evidently people can hear us at home because they are texting in. So unfortunately our chat window doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So don't forget, if you are in the bar, don't forget to sign up now and get yourself connected. You just have to use your own internet on your phone, the internet on your phone. Then you go to open a browser page and go to play.livequiz.ie. When you've gone there, you should be able to just sign in with your username and your team name and choose a site. Or indeed, just use your camera to scan the little thing on the screen, the QR code, and that will also bring you straight to the web page. I don't know how many teams we've got in at the moment. I can't see. We have 19 teams at the moment. 19. Uh, also, nice. whoever wins in the bar is going to get themselves a 50 euro bar tab, like you did there last week, lads. Ooh. 50 euro bar tab. Are you, are you here eating for free? We see you. Are, are you using it now? <laughs> That didn't go well. <laughs> You're no short of fork. Um, Here comes your pitcher. Look at this, lads. You're filling up. Right. And he won some darts that I haven't sorted. Wait, did you do, did you go bowling earlier? I'm a sort of darts. 
This is the lady who started dance for <laughs> Two of them, look. They'll start to dance for you. My hands are now clean. I'm not doing it anymore. It's up to you. But I said, if you're in the bar, you're the ones that can win the 50 euro bar tab. If you're at home, we're going to you know, give you a picture for Ashling has also pointed out, although we can abuse you now through the phone, anytime you call it out, people will just think you're being over the top and when you retaliate, because they oh, won't yeah. be able to see the, what, you know, the annoying... So if you are doing it, now is the time to join because we are starting in two minutes' time. Two minutes before we get the first quiz underway. And what's going to happen is that there's multiple questions with multiple choice. We're going to do four rounds. 20 questions in round two. One. 20 questions in round two. 20 questions in round three. And the last round is 10 questions. But they're worth 200 points each. So that'll be a, a, you know something to watch out for and make sure you get in early answers because the faster you answer any question the more points you'll get pay attention and pay get the answers in quickly so if you're unsure answer quickly and if you get it right you'll get loads of points i have a special round in tonight as well round number three 20 questions will be all about movies so oh all God. movie questions will be in uh the special round which this week is all movies and that is from questions uh 40 to 60. So from 40 to, well, 59, you will be doing movie questions. You seem to some backwards way I can get a chat in here, so. Ah. It's like 41 to 60. Did you figure it out? Uh, no. You no, said, no. ah. I did, but then I went, no. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. No. You can cheat at this quiz. It is possible to do it, but if you do do it, you probably won't make many points. So just say, uh, why don't you, oh, yep, yep, yep. Take, First rule, phone. take a phone away from the microphone. There yes, that's probably what it was. Uh, but again, the faster you answer, the more points you get. So if you do cheat and you try and look it up, by the time you've looked it up, the question will probably be over anyway, as there is a time limit. And every time the time goes down, the points go down with it. You right, Pat? I think we're ready to go nearly. 22 teams in. We're a little bit low this week. So anyone in the bar, time to do it now. We're getting this underway. You'll hear a little noise on your phones to let you know that there is a small countdown into the amount of time you've got before the questions start. And those online will have time to get themselves ready. So anyone at home, there is a delay. So do forget, don't forget to uh, answer the questions. Read them first and then answer them as quickly as you can. And don't wait for us to ask them in the live stream. Right, I think we're ready to go. Ready to go. Anyone who's at home, you can keep joining as we go. Just watch the play the live quiz.ie thing. And so if you join in late, you can do so if you're joining in now. <laughs> do you like that, huh? Bit of a dong. Walk you up. Dong. That's not the first time Pat's dong has woken someone up. <laughs> yeah. Ten past six, Colm. Ten it past is six. Ten past ten in real bar time now, these is. In what country is Lufthansa? The national airline, Lufthansa. Easy. Is it Australia, Germany, Egypt, or Australia? Austria. Austria, sorry. All answers are in. Let's have a look, see what people said. Oh. Hmm, I'm just going to take this off again. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's acting the bollocks. It's right. acting the bollocks. We can tell, we can tell. We 95% of people getting it Germany right. is the correct answer. 95% of you, well done. Question number two. Was Sir Arthur Conan Doyle knighted before or after writing Sherlock Holmes? So after or before? And the first letter of each answer, look, after and before, A and B. Uh, Things right. Happen. It is fifty-eight percent going for after, and about fifty forty-two percent going that way. It was after he actually didn't actually he didn't get the award. He didn't get knighted for writing it. He got knighted for being in the army. There you go. Knighted for being in the army. Well, for whatever his actions were while being part of the army. Which of these statements explains what Paris syndrome is? Give, it, give a little bit of extra time on that one. There, it's a bit, a bit short. Just fifteen seconds on that one. Oh yeah, it's fine. It, it did it so. So which of these statements explains what Paris syndrome is? Is it 
someone who believes they are Parisian after returning from a short break to the city, or a sense of disappointment exhibited by some individuals when visiting Paris. Paris syndrome. It's real. Jesus, kitty, we're trying to do a quiz here, like. They can all hear it out of home. Money messy. It is B, a sense of disappointment exhibited by some individuals when visiting Paris. What happens is uh, people get lost in the city and they get short term memory loss. And they get, they don't, because they, they expect to be like Disneyland and it turns out to be a smelly hole. A smelly hole, there you go. Column just said that Paris is a smelly hole. Number four. What is Kerr Pink's a variety of? Is it a pear, a potato, a carrot, or an apple? I literally don't know. So is it a pear, a potato, a carrot, or an apple? If you haven't chosen by now, it's too late. It is a potato. 89% if you get that one right, well done. What is Australia's single biggest export? Australia's single biggest export. Is it iron ore or wool? Iron 50, ore 50. or wool? 50-50. Their exports is Novik Djokovic as well. Yay! Iron ore is the correct answer. Well done. Serbian tennis players. Bam! Question six. So this. Wool isn't even on the top ten. No. Nah. Like petrol, oil, gas, coal, other coal. Number six, the Scandinavian pop group Aqua had a hit single about which doctor? Come on. Was it Dr. Ross, Dr. House, Dr. Jekyll, Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones. Dr. Ross, Ross, calling Dr. Dr. Ross, Dr. Ross, Dr. Ross, Dr. Ross, wake up. I can't up believe now. you think that George Clooney was like. Second tier to Noah Wiley in ER. In ER. What's wrong with you? Um, it. it is indeed Dr. Jones with 85% of people. Um, I don't think I'd watched Ocean's Eleven with Noah Wiley as Danny Ocean. Westmead is on the coast of Ireland. Is it true or false? I think that's, I think that's easy enough. I think that's points for everybody. I'm expecting 100%. All. One team have gone away. One team have gotten it wrong, I think. It's it, it, west of Mead. West of Mead. Do you think Not Mayo. No. <laughs> I think it was the girls right in front of us, Colm. Tis, but, all, tis all right. Just, I'm just checking time. by the embarrassment on their faces. I think it was them. When they were naming it, do you think they kind of went, well, we can be South Dublin, we can be West Mead, or we can be North Austin? Do you think it was Mayo you were thinking of? No. No? Oh, Jesus. Where are you from? Please don't say Meath. You're from Cork. Jesus. We'll just say you're from Kerry or something. We'll disown you. Question uh, eight. Number eight. Two police officers were fired in 2017 for ignoring LA robbery in progress to play what? Was it basketball, Pokemon Go, or Wii Bowling? They had their uh, court case this week to try and have their jobs reinstated, and they lost, by the way. They were chasing Pokemon Go's. And 95% of you getting it right, well done. Number nine. Late comedian Bob Saget was the narrator of which TV show? Rest Bob in peace. Saget. Rest in peace. Was it The Wonder Years, Arrested Development, How I Met Your Mother, or My Name is Earl? They're all shows with narrators. And ooh, only 65% of this getting this one right. It is How I Met Your Mother. He was the voice of Ted in the future. Question number 10. What year was Step Brothers released in the cinemas? China hosted the Olympics. An American boy by Estelle was rocking the charts. You'll be my American boy. Was it? You sound insane. 2014, 2010, 2012, or 20, 2008. 2014, 2010, 2012, or 2008. Kanye West, only going to rap or UK, rap, UK with UK. In the, in the UK, everybody here say UK. Please, don't hurt me. Um, 
2008. Oh, how did it go? Uh, 100%! 100% of What? Y'all you know your year. Everyone knows the still. Well done. Number 11. Uh, we were going to have problems with this quiz. I said it. Just stop it and start it again. It'll keep the scores, won't it? It does, yeah, it retains the scores. Finish, hold up, hold up. Uh, key crowd responses. And we're going to move on to one number 11, was it? Yes. Kept the scores. Take notice of this, it's going to make a big noise there. We just restarted it there because of uh, people's scores. So we're going to go to question 11. Will we sh show them a quick look at the scoreboard? Yeah, yeah, quick yeah. look at the scoreboard. We're going just to question 20 anyway. Just want to let you know that these next 10 questions are going to be worth 150 points mm. each, not 100. Uh, come on. Uh, does the next one work? Yeah, right. We're skipping 11. Number 12. What was the surname of the brothers Grant and Phil in the TV soap? Uh, EastEnders. Is it Brown, Mitchell, McGuire, or Jeffers? Yes, that does say Ollie Mars. Mars. <laughs> yeah? What's better than Ollie Mars? Ollie Mars and EastEnders. Imagine together. if there was an entire show nah, that of Ollie working. Mars. And let's have a look. 100% of you getting it right again. Well done to you. Uh, number 13. Which of these brands was established first? Was it Optical Express or Specsavers? And spec savers. That was a 50-50 kind of a one, really. It's just pure guesswork. There's about 10 years between them. 80s and 90s. Which of these TV shows has had more episodes during its run on television? So which of these had more episodes? Sons of Anarchy, Sopranos, Band of Brothers, and The Wire. One of those had more than the rest. The shortest run was Band of Brothers with 10. The Wire comes in at around 40 episodes, I think. Sopranos has got about 60, but Sons of Anarchy has around 90. Ooh. Number 15. In the movie, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. What are their title characters' jobs? Are they cops, teachers, strippers, or firemen? That was an alright, Philip. He's all okay. He's all right. Fireman is the correct answer. We had 75% of you getting that one right. Well done. Number 16. Not working. I was actually Desmond. I'm responding back to people who were in the quiz. Which of these presenters would use the catchphrase, well, on that bombshell? Gay Byrne, Jeremy Clarkson, Cilla Black, or Stephen Fry? Magic Mark sending in messages, as is Ashling, who's not playing tonight. So, Let's have a look. It is Jeremy Clarkson. He used to say it a lot on Top Gear, and he was like, moving on, on to the next show. thing. And on that bombshell. Number 18. The name Amelia Earhart is associated with which form of transport? Is it kayaks, buses, planes, or trains? I think that's an easy one there. She used a kayak. We heard. And planes is the correct answer. Number 19, second last Actually, one, one, one person did say kayak, wherever you are. I'm looking in your direction just because the whole West no, me no, thing. No, 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 it's no, all right, no. it wasn't he, wasn't he? Don't sorry. wrong him now, don't no, wrong No, I'm just. 19, second last one in this round. Amel Berba, Jade Ewan, and Heidi Range were members of which UK girl group? Is it the Saturdays, Atomic Kitten, Sugar Babes are on Vogue? 
Love, lovely voice there you've got. Quite like Celine Dion. Very nice. And there was 80% to be getting right. It is indeed Sugar Babes. There were at least three of them in it there, but there was about 10 of them, I'd say, over the course of their yeah. history. Sugar okay, Colin, rank them. Rank the girl groups there in front of you. Saturdays. First. All yeah. right. Okay. Sugar Babes. Yeah. On Vogue. Yeah. Tommy Kitten. Okay. How would you go? I put the Sugar Babes above the Saturdays. Yeah. Oh, controversial people. 50-50 yeah. yeah. with me. I Number 20. Spotify originated in which country? Sweden, Japan, USA, or Italy? Sweden is the correct answer. Oh, well done, well done, Ashton. You got a question right. Well done. Right, we're going to have a look at the scoreboard, see who is where at the moment. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Swain. People don't know, Kevin Swain is the quiz nerd. No offense, Kev, just called you a nerd. Uh, cool guys uh, in second spot. Bros in third spot. Let's have a look and see where people if they, where they uh, are. Fourth spot for a U Jazz. That's James. I look for U Jazz. That's James uh, at home. Jamboree and Cream, a carpet DMs in sixth. Cat related team in seventh spot. No, up your game there, lads. Uh, Tony Larson's in eighth spot. Rude, nasty, and unpleasant in ninth spot. Ten spot. Mark on his lonesome. Right between the team rankings. Let's have a look. See who's doing better. The bar home. Home is winning at the moment. The bar up it, lads. Yeah, up it. You're distracted eating food and eating having food, drink cocktails. and having a great time, unlike those sorry... Losers at home. Losers at home. Bunch of losers. Don't forget to check out Barcadia. <laughs> right, we're going to give you a little five-minute break. Have your food. Have your cocktails. So everybody at home, we're going to mute you at home so you won't hear us. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back in about five minutes. Five-minute break. Just going to make sure... Turns off.
Hello. We're back. It is Saudi Arabia. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's Saudi. That should be South Africa. Ah, oh, jeez. There you go. Don't worry, we fixed it. It's fixed. We fixed it. Cool, cool it down now. Cool your jets now, buddy. Take it easy. You relax now. Relax. Jesus. Stay in your, stay in your seat. Said he was. Stay in your seat. God. He nearly took his hat off. The hat Disgusting. barely came off. <laughs> if the hat comes off, he means business. 24. Devised by Alan Turing, who's now on a 50 pound note, by the way, in 1950. The Turing test is a test of what in a computer? Is it speed, reliability, capacity, or artificial intelligence? It is very sad, but he's on a 50 pound note now, so he's happy. Yeah. He forgave them. He came back from heaven and he forgave them. He said, It's all right, lads. Thank you for the chemical castration. Thanks for the 50, yes. Uh, for the torture you put me through. Artificial, artificial intelligence. intelligence. Pure and not you a guesswork there. You should have known that. You should have known that. 25. A world record 1 in 10 inhabitants of which country publish a book in their lifetime? That's the books they're pushing around the library. Ah, jeez. Is it Iceland, New Zealand, Italy, or Ireland? You could kind of guess this now. Everyone can be an author now, Pat. Dermot Whelan has a book out. Dermot Whelan has about a book. Nanny. About oh, Nanny and the chocolate no, heist. Nanny. Nanny. I don't care. I'm not putting her in Iceland is the correct answer. There's only 500,000 of them and one in every 10 of them. So 50,000 of them are, have written a book. 26. But Iggy Azalea was born in which country? Iggy Azalea was born in which country? USA, Australia, Canada. Easy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Australia is a great answer. She hides that accent very well. Number 27. What is the color of copper sulfate? Copper Science. sulfate. Science. 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 Interpolation. Uh, is it orange, blue, green, or red? It's blue, orange, green, blue, Ooh. red, green, or yellow. We red. have 44% sing green, 44% sing blue. It is blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Sorry. It's copper sulfate, blue. Da -da -dee -da -da -da. Question 28. How many possible first moves can there be in chess? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. One of them is not on the screen, just in case you say. 137. Or sorry, one. 1,377, 1, 20, or 88. Some would argue that there is 21 because resigning is technically a move. It is not. It is not recognized as a move. 20. There is 20. The pawns can move one each forward. Yes. Or two forward. Yes. There's eight pawns. Yes. So two times eight is... 16, right, 16 and the knights can move left or right All left right. or right that's 4 20 20 moves 29 which was the last country to join the eu back in 2013 i'm learning about the eu in college at the moment is it croatia lithuania or estonia so which was the last country to join back And 30, 44% saying Croatia is the correct answer. Estonia, 39% of people, the wrong answer. They were before together. Number 30. What is 11,000 divided by 440? So what's 11,000 divided by 440? Give you a few seconds. The answer should hopefully help you. Is it 25, 45, 35, 55? 25, 45, 35, 55. Uh, 25, 78 percent of you getting it correct. Well done. Well done. That's geniuses. The lot of you. Tell you, nerds. Nerds. Thirty-one. 
Sam's Gala in Dunmanway went viral this week by finding a loophole to minimum alcohol pricing by offering a credit note to the value of a slab when purchasing what item for 30 euro? Was it a mop and bucket, nappies, plastic glasses, or Pringles? It's very topical. Just so you know, it's cheaper to drink in a bar now. Correct answer is... Plastic glasses. Plastic glasses. He has now since stopped it, saying that he has run out of plastic glasses. <laughs> but in, in actual effect, he was told by the HSE that it's not in the spirit of the law and asked him politely would he mind stopping before it went any further, and he did. 32. Which singer wrote the song, And I Will Always Love You, which was a hit for Whitney Houston and in 1992? Was it Dolly Parton, Carol King, or Joni Mitchell? And I will always love you. 89% of people with the right answer. Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. She Correct. sang it as well. 30. 30. And it's actually Saint Dolly Parton. In the movies, what breed of dog was Beethoven? That's a nice easy one. Mm. Was he St. Bernard, Bernie's Mountain Dog, a Tibetan Mastiff, or Husky? House. House. <laughs> it's a Husky. House. House. I don't think they're playing tonight. God Almighty. Trying to include them one time and then they drop out. And... They saw that 94% of you get it correct. It is... St. Bernard is the correct answer. 34? In which year did Jerry Halliwell leave the Spice Girls? What's this? A girl band? Yeah, we're not. Quiz? Uh, what year? Why? 1996, 2000, 1998, or 2002? Some of these people weren't even born when this happened. <laughs> and the correct answer is. Two, no, it's not. It's 1998. 1998. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1998. And uh, 53% of you getting it right. 35? Steve, Stevie Janowski, April Buchanan, and Kenny Powers are all characters from which TV show? I've never seen this show. Uh, Vice Principals, Workaholics, Eastbound and Down, or The League? A lot of people would have heard it as Kenny Powers. Eastbound and down is the correct answer. 36. Who is the lead singer of the script? There he is, look. He's singing with his headphones on. Is it? Hudson, Hudson Taylor, Taylor, Danny Corona, <laughs> Danny O'Donoghue, or Niall Breslin? <laughs> no one knows his real surname, oh, not even his mother. Danny Corona, no she idea. She doesn't even know what his surname is. That's Danny Corona. Actually, I found a picture of, of uh, a video of us. Yeah. Recently. We we have a long-standing uh, kind of feud going with the Coronas. <laughs> they stole some of our stuff from the stage at Independence. Damn Coronas. They stole yeah, a Baywatch buoy belonged to us and never returned it. They sent a picture of it. They sent a picture of it on the bus. And the correct answer is... Screw you, Danny Corona. Screw you if you're watching this. I don't think you are, but screw you, Danny Corona. Uh, Danny O'Donoghue is the correct answer. The better of the Irish Dannys. <laughs> Danny boy. Uh, so who said... It? Three people went for Danny Corona. No. 37. That's you. With great power comes great irresponsibility. Or witness the beginning of a happy ending. Our taglines for which superhero movie? Is it The Eternals, Deadpool, Thor, or Spider-Man? And all answers in. That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Deadpool. 61% of them getting it. 38. We're almost there. What did McDonald's restaurants first introduce in 1968? So which did they, of these did they first introduce? Was it a Big Mac, a Happy Meal, an Egg McMuffin, or a Ronald McDonald himself? Look at him. <laughs> Ronald didn't arrive until the late 70s, early 80s. It was 
the Big Mac. Or, as they call it in France, Le, Le Big, Big Mac. Mac. I learned that. 39. What was the name with the smallest gif ever? There, call him. Jesus. Is that a live video? Uh, what was the name of the documentary which investigated the alleged sexual misconduct? It's not alleged it's not anymore. Alleged. That was an old question. That's an old question. Take that out. Oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. I got... Delete. Definite. Try the word definite. D-E... Uh, no. Actual sexual misconduct of R. Kelly. We can say that now and not get sued. It's Screw you, R. Kelly, turn. if you're watching, turn which I doubt you are. Um, what's it called? Being R. Kelly, fighting R. Kelly, surviving R. Kelly, or bad guy R. Kelly. <laughs> Trust me, they were the, the least. Uh, yes, of the stuff that I wanted to say and write there. Yeah, I could. Just thank God I didn't. Uh, it is surviving R. Kelly. No. Nobody went for Screw you, R. Kelly. Still can't play your songs. Damn it. Is the Fiesta's remix to a Ignition, too. Hot and Fish. I can't even Fiesta's play it anymore. A cracker too. What if I just steal the song and then play it? He can make no money off it. Really? Could you. He probably lost all the rights to his music. Just sing it yourself. Sing it. Yeah. 40. What program is the UK's longest running TV soap? EastEnders or Coronation Street? Ooh. Coronation Street or EastEnders? It is reversed, the other road. Someone ring it? No. Actually, my headphones are making a noise. I can hear myself. You are getting this message. There's a tax problem in your country. <laughs> <laughs> Coronation Street is the correct answer. Please press one if you'd like to speak with further. Hello, you're talking to. Right, we're going to have a look at the rankings and see who's where is Kevin S still top of the board. Let's have a look. Ooh, he yes. is. Ooh. Look at him. Mark and his lonesome. How many? Hold up. Throw my glasses here to see. He's up to eighth. Well done. Mark, so, Mark and his lonesome is eight. in the eighth spot with four, 33 answers. He's uh, not fast enough. Let's see. He's who's got two more than Kevin, but he's not fast enough. In the bar, who's winning? Is it the bar or home? Home. Home is ready. Destroy you guys. Destroy it. Your nachos are putting you off. It was you and your whole. Look at that. Look at that mountain of nachos. You gonna finish it? Right. Well, Who's the highest at the moment in the bar? Who's that? That sounded like just very badly said. Uh, on the scoreboard. Hey, the bar has been set low. Hey. hey. The bar is low. So cool guys, Kevin S and Kent Dodds. I know they're not in the bar. Uh, you're in the bar. Who else is here? Let's see here. Open up my rankings. You jazz is at home. The Don? The Don? Here, anyone here? The Don? No. Nope. Rude, What's your nasty, team name, boys? Pleasant. What, you're, you're, you're usually fairly good. What's your team name? Carpe DMs. Oh, lads, you're having an off time. Ten spot. Jesus. But that, you're technically the oh, highest so far in the bar. You know, cat related team name. Who's doing Who's doing well enough in the bar? We want to. You're sixth. Six. Who's sixth? No way. No, not a whole. Rude. No, someone's answered the questions for you at home. Rude, nasty, and unpleasant. Yeah. That does sum you up pretty much, all right, yeah. So which one of these rude, which one of these nasty, which one of these unpleasant? You're nasty. Yeah. And, and, and you're the one that answers the phone here in the Maradike. <laughs> if you get into somebody in the Maradike, just call her rude, nasty, and unpleasant. She's the one who answers. You can't, you can't win the 50 euro bar tab. No, you can't. You can't. Null and void. Cancel it. Can't have that. It's going to be outrage. Be on the echo tomorrow about it. Right, uh, we're going to take a little seven minute break. We're going to mute the people at home. Bye.
Hey, we're back. We're back. This round is all about the movies. Movies. All movies. This might suit you, this might not. It's a bit of everything. So here we go. People at home, it's time to get yourself ready. Got to get a little bar. chime on their phone when it moves to the next question. And number 41. You seem like you're a taller. I am taller. Today. Question 41. Which role did Robert Redford play in the 1969 movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Was it Sundance or Butch? Shots, 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 shots. On the shots already, girls. Jesus. It's technically half, half 11. It's technically half 11. Yeah, you're falling into that. Do you start drinking like when you had your breakfast? Tequila into the week. It's technically two o'clock. You're all right. Uh, the correct answer is Sundance is the correct answer. Well done. Hold up, I have to. Hold up. I, 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 ready? Shots, 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 shots. Yeah, that's enough for you. Um, we can't we can't ask the quest next question until they have their shots on them. Ready, steady. Jesus, go! Hey. 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 Jesus, Jesus, you're all different types there. There was like nothing to eat. Fucking, it was like you drinking all, you water. You were like, all of you had different shots as well. Did, did, did like their shots come? Up? Forty-two. No, forty-two. What's What's the correct title? What's the correct title to the 2016 movie starring Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling? Is it The Best Guys, The Wrong Guys, The Nice Guys, The Other Guys? That it came out of nowhere. The Nice Guys. It's a good one. Number 43. What is the name of the fictional drug that Schmidt and Jenko are tasked with investigating in the 2012 movie 21 Jump Street? Was it HFS, WTF, TTFN, or LOL? You can imagine the, f the first letter is holy. The other two letters, you can make up your own mind what they are. Uh, uh, it is indeed HFS. Holy. <laughs> holy. <laughs> holy. Uh, 44. Name is Jeff. Jeff. From which Asian city was Detective Lee played by Jackie Chan from in the Rush Hour film series? So, from which Asian city was Detective Lee played by Jackie Chan? From in the rush hour, from in the from in the rush hour. What way did you write this column? Was it Tokyo, Bangkok, Hong Kong, or Beijing? You see, they were written in a different. <laughs> and then I said, I went to delete them. To put you, them have an, the you have an excuse though for every question. I don't know where that came from. Oh, oh just dropped it. It's the phone. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. broken. Screen's gone. It's a, and it's a crack. That's it's right. fine. Hey, saved. Hong Kong is the correct answer. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Question 45. The Ecto-1 vehicle is found in which movie series? The Ecto-1. Is it Dukes of Hazard, The Italian Job, Ghostbusters, or Smokey and the Bandit? Smokey. Smokey. That's two cars together. It is Ghostbusters. He's going to call. That was good. I watched that. I watched the Ghostbusters Did you movie. See it? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I was balling at the end. It's okay. I watched it perfectly legally in the cinema. I did it. Number 46. An overachieving London cop is transferred to a sleep town called Sanford. Name the movie. The Wicker Man, Hot Fuzz, Blitz, Johnny English, or The Sweeney. And it is Hot Fuzz. Number 47. Pixar's animated short movies, Mike's New Car and... Par That's supposed to be Party, but you put a Y on that. Party Central are part of which movie sent series? So Mike's New Car and Party Central are part of which Pixar's movie series? Is it Monsters, Inc., Inc. The Incredibles, Cars, or Finding Nemo? 
Oh, you pressed the wrong button. Wrong button. You? Wrong button. Was it, na- was it nasty or was it uh, rude? Just nasty. Oh, damn you, nasty. Um, Monsters in. Mike. Mike should have given it away there. Mike and Wachowski. No doubt there's going to be a spelling mistake in the next one as well. What event were Romy and Michelle attending in their 1997 movie? Were they attending book signing, concert, rap party, or high school reunion? Give you a clue. It's in the title. And uh, 94% of each, one person went for a concert. Uh, it is high school reunion. Number 49. In which movie does Keanu Reeves play the, tar- ca- the character Johnny Utah? That is Keanu the cat, but I'm looking for Keanu Reeves, the real person. Was it Speed, Point Break, Johnny Mnemonic, or John Wick? What you say? I can tell you where. What you say? We just want to see your answers, is it? Did you say? Did you say John Wick? The name is called John Wick because the name of the person is John Wick. If you if you pick that, like twenty four percent of people, you'd be wrong. To a point break. <laughs> God Almighty, who said John Wick? I think they did too. <laughs> His name's John Wick. <laughs> it's not John Wick, Utah. <laughs> Johnny Wicky. I go by my maiden name. Uh, Fifty. Alex. Marty, Melman, and Gloria are the names of the animals in which animated movie? Easy. Easy. Ice Age, Sing, Madagascar, or Zootopia? Ice Age, or Sing 2 is that at the end of the week? End of the month? Uh, There's a perfectly legal <laughs> way of watching it right now as well. Which I kind of turned on about two days ago. We're waiting to see it in the cinema. Cinema. Uh, it is... George, George, George. Madagascar. George, George. George, 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 George. Don't has COVID. Yeah. <laughs> George doesn't have COVID, by the For way. For the fourth time. <laughs> Honest to God, the you life you lead. George has now spent more times having COVID <laughs> than not having COVID in his whole lifetime. Um, number 51. Ah. Skippity, skippity, skip. 52. Which Friends actor took over the role of Oscar for the 2015 TV remake of the classic show The Odd Couple? This ran for like three seasons, believe it or not. Is it Matthew Perry, David Swimmer, or Matt LeBlanc? Choose one. Oh. Mistakes are made. <laughs> yeah, well, did you know it? You, know? you think you did. That sounded confident. Yeah. Very confident. Yeah. It is Matthew Perry. I can see you now on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Final answer? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Final answer? 53. Oh, that's my kids. The long-talked-about sequel to 1988's Twins was to star the original cast of Arnie and Danny DeVito and which other actor in the role of the triplet? Was it Was it meant to be Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Will Smith or John Travolta? I would watch a film with all four of those actors. Any one of those would be a great triplet. And it is Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy. 71% of you going for that. Number 54. Which actor plays the role of the Punisher, Frank Castle, in the short-lived 2017 Netflix show? Is it Jason Momoa, Frank Grillo, Joe Mangelanina Leo, or John Bernthal? No idea. Everyone knows who Joe Mangelanina Leo is now because he was recently eating Lennox's in Fitzgerald's Park with his wife, I- Sophie Vergara. Yeah, my wife is obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with him, let's be honest about it. What woman or man isn't obsessed with him? Um, I only follow one celebrity on Instagram. It's not her. Stacey Solomon. She's great. Creep. John Bernthal. John Bernthal answer. is the correct answer. Number 55. In which year was the lion mascot at the centre of the MGM logo replaced by a near identical CGI duplicate? There's a look right there. That's, That's the not the actual. Ca- that's not the lion, Use. by the way. There you go, look. <laughs> Was it 2013, 2017, 2009, or 2021? This is just pure guesswork. I don't expect anybody to actually know this one. Anybody pretends different? Well, 
It was only in the news a few weeks ago because it was last year oh, that it happened. 2021. Only 6% Over of people. Only one person got it right. Over 100 years that the lions have been used. And the first lion What's was in... Dublin Zoo. There you go. There you go. We didn't prepare that. I just noticed. His name was Leo. Fact. Leo the lion from Dublin Zoo. He went, who is... <laughs> rare. Rare. You got a Europe on a bus. <laughs> 56. Which actor starred and produced the 2020 American war movie Greyhound? You can watch it for free on Apple Plus. Was it Shia LaBeouf, Bradley Cooper, Tom Hanks, Nick Cage, or Harrison Ford? Does Ford have an E at the end? No idea. Uh, maybe he runs Ford's bar over at the bottom of Barrick Street. No, it's not. There's no E at the end of it. There's no E at the end of that name. There you go, knew it. Uh, it is it's not him. Tom Hanks. Give me back my war. 50% of you get one right. Number 57. Actors Mads Mikkelsen was born or hails from which country? Norway, Denmark, Germany, Sweden. You could probably say he's one of the best actors out there. You could, but you'd be wrong. He's no Shia LaBeouf. Come on. But just do because he's drinking Carlsberg ads. Yeah, Carlsberg ads should have done it for you. Carlsberg ads. Cycling around Copenhagen in the ads. Denmark is the right answer. 58. Do the events of the movie Rogue One 2016 happen before or after the event? So the Star Wars trilogy. Of the, of the, what? Of the first Star Wars trilogy. I'm going to say that there. So, was it before or after? I love how you're going through the whole Your movie. movie. <laughs> well, Natalie well, Portman. <laughs> you're going through the whole it, lot. It's a prequel, which means it happened before. Uh, before is a great answer. I've only had two shots. You've had three each. I should be able to get this one right. Before is the right answer. 59. Did you get it? No. No. <laughs> All you're talking and got around. What type of force did the superhero characters played by Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy bring in the title of the 2021 Netflix movie? Was it thunder, action, lightning, full, or contact? So was it thunder force, action force, lightning force, full force, or contact force? All legitimately good names for a movie. And 81% of you getting correct, it is... Thunder Force. <laughs> Number 60. This is the last in the round. Which of the characters did Dorothy meet first on her travels to the Wizard of Oz? Did she meet the wizard, the lion, the tin man, the scarecrow? We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because... It was the, the scarecrow, scarecrow. Mm. and she met the Tin Man, then she met the Lion, and then she met what was not a wizard, but the Wizard of Oz. Right, now let's have a look at the scoreboards. Who is it? Is Kevin Swain still top of the board? And let's have a look. He is. Oh, Mark Ooh. on his lonesome, doing very, very well, wherever he is, at home somewhere. Um, I've got to have a look there. Cool guys who are in the bar, down the end there somewhere, they're in second spot. Uh, fourth spot for Ken Dodd's dad, Sog's dead. Five, fifth spot for Bros. Can't really team in your sixth spot. Up your game. So too busy drinking your winnings from last week. Don't know what's uh, going on. I was sure, I know, I know this one. I the know. Don is in seventh spot. Uh, Jabroni and Cream. Jabroni. Uh, DMs, you 44 right. You're only one less right than Kevin Swain at the top. Come on. Be snappier. Come on. Be snappier, be faster. Uh, trust your guts, trust your guts. Mickey O'Brien is 10th spot. Rude, nasty, and unpleasant, you're in 11 spot. What a drop. What a drop. What, what a fall what? from grace. What a fall from That's grace. That's what she said. Um, right. Uh, yeah. Seven minutes of a break for the people at home and for the people in here as well. We will be back then. There's only 10 questions to go. Yeah. But they're worth 200 points. I was going to touch again, 2 million points. points. I was getting a bit excited there. Right. Uh, so we're there. Six half minutes. Do I want a song, Colin was asking me? Williams and Nicole Kidman. 
flick. And I'm going to see if I can find. Yes, it's a good, it's a good, it's a classic. We doing it for the kids. I actually listened to it not so long ago.
Right, so hello to everybody back home again. Uh, right, just over here. Right, as we said, 10 questions left. How many points, Colm? 200 points each. We Two a little slower to drag this round out a tiny bit. So no one goes running off from the bar. But also, the Liverpool Arsenal game is on a 745. 745, 745. Uh, watch it in the car on the way home. Or listen to it in the car on the way home. We'll watch it on the way home, Colm. That is illegal. Right, uh, let's get rid of the scoreboard. we got 10 questions left. 61. These are all random. Random. 61. Which country singer featured with Lil Nas X? Old Town. So on the track, my. Old Town Road. Was it? She's all right. Now. Dolly Parton, Keith Urban, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Luke, Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan, I'm on uh, America's Got Talent. No, American Idol. And time is up. And Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus, Cyrus, 88% of you getting it right. Uh, two people going for Keith Urban. Number 62. The First World War Battle of the Somme took place in which country? Was it France, Luxembourg, Belgium or Spain? Time's up and let's have a look. France. France. 22% going for Belgium. Somme. Somme. So fast. So fast. Number 63. Three, 63. Which American group had a 2010 UK number one hit single with Fireflies? No, call it, say it right. Fireflies. 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 10,000. I will city, Echo Smith, 21 Pilots, Imagine Dragons. Fireflies. Someone asked the band on Twitter. Was the hugs from the fireflies? Was it ten thousand hugs yeah. from ten thousand butterflies? Was it ten thousand hugs from each individual butterfly, or was it just one hug from With all the Or center. was it all the flies giving together? Turns oh, out yeah. it's one individual hug from each one. Oh, hundred percent of you getting it right. Well done to you. Fireflies. Fireflies. Sixty-four. What does the D stand for in GDPR in the EU's privacy law? Is come on, Colin. General Geo. Ge what? What? The G. Oh my God! I'm, I know. Oh, sorry. Do not blame me. Blame Colin. Just go back. There you go. Totally perfect. I know, trying to boast. That says G. I don't know if you saw it. What you saw, but I'm looking at that. Um, I will admit this week I was under a lot of pressure to get this done. What's going on? That's because you're doing so poorly, is it? <laughs> is this the reason why you're doing so poorly? And do you know what? I'm going to give everybody else who said any other answer, I'm going to give them all points as well. There you go. Everybody gets points. Except for Geo, is it? Except for Geo. Nobody. Yeah. For, oh, yeah, not. Screw your Geos, boys. One person said generic. Yeah, fuck them too. I'm not going to give them any points. Um, take it back. Was it G? No. <laughs> well, you, I, you lost 100 points as well. I don't know why, but it just fell off the... Delete, 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 delete. 65? Maybe your fault. Jack Dorsey founded which social network in March 2006? Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? It's in the meme, or it's in the GIF. It's Twitter. And we had one person say Instagram. We made it as easy as possible. Uh, 66. Which celebrity chef wrote an autobiography called Devil in the Kitchen? It was it Marco Pierre White, Gordon Ramsay, Anthony Bourdain, or Jamie Oliver? I know, I would have thought the same. Uh, Gordon Ramsay is the wrong answer. It's Marco Pierre White is the correct answer. Now he's gone from Michelin stars to selling meat for Aldi. Or nor chicken stocks. Yeah. <laughs> He'll do anything. Is this a French question? There is a lot of French questions in it. Is he really French though? 
Marco Pierre White. He could be from it? Kerry, for all we know. He could just have a, you know... Of the Pierre Whites. He could be just Marco from White. Kidmare. Mark White. And he decided to make its own French. 67. Which is the larger island, Greenland or Iceland? I think... Like... Are we being correct? Are we trying to mess with your heads? Uh, think we're messing with our heads? Greenland's the one full of ice, and Iceland's the one full of the greens. It is Greenland. Greenland is the right answer. One person saying Iceland. 68. Kevin Spacey. Are we allowed to have a Kevin Spacey questions anymore? He's, we had an R. Kelly, and we had this Kevin Spacey question. That's, he, what's going on? He's still a legend at this moment in time. Uh, he's still a legend. At this moment in time, he's still a legend. Don't sue me, Kevin. Kevin Spacey plays Who are you, Kevin? Lester Burnham in which 1999 film was it? The Usual Suspects, American Beauty 7, or American Beauty? Oh, shite. Why is there two American Beauties in here, yeah, It's easy to start. That's supposed to say LA Confidential, but it does make a difference. Two answers are right. You will get points hey, if you say American, American Beauty. Beauty. Oh, no, we, no, we should have done this. We should have gone, no, we're looking for the first one. <laughs> and then the next one we got, no, nah, we're looking for the second one there now. It doesn't count. I'm having, a, I'm having a mayor tonight. Just get on with it. Last one. A 69. Doesn't work. 69 does work, by the way. Um, 70. Last question. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic are all types of what? Easy peasy. Trees or rocks? And... Rocks is the last one. That's the correct answer. Easy. 100% of you getting that one right. Well done, T. We did. We skipped 69. It didn't work. And that's my that's my joke. I said six nine didn't work, and then it goes, it does work. You missed my joke. Jesus. Right, let's have a look at the scoreboard. We're gonna let you know in top ten. And here we go. In ten spot, it's rude, nasty, and unpleasant. Yeah, your ten spot. We're gonna blitz this quiz. We're gonna beat everybody in the bar. We're the best ever. You, all yeah, the, you, you did. Said, all the clients coming in here are stupid. Yeah, he said. <laughs> you said that. You you said a hundred percent. I would not lie. And you said R. Kelly and Kevin Spacey are great. I love R. Kelly. He's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. And I saw you kicking a kid outside as well. Uh, number nine it is Jamboree and Cream. Eight spot for Carpe DMs, lads. What's up? Carpe DMs. That's good for here in the bar. No, they're brilliant. They're excellent. I expect better from them. Yeah, all right. She's ashamed of yourselves. Uh, the Shave John. themselves. No, be ashamed of all themselves. Right. I only text that stuff. Uh, Sorry, seven spots for the Don. Mark on his lonesome is in six spot. Mark, unfortunately, uh, you dropped out there. Fifth spot. <laughs> when he got right. Cat related team name. Fifth spot. Fourth spot for the Bros. In third spot and sitting at home, it is Ken Dodd's dad's dog dead. In second spot, we have the cool guys and Kevin Swain just clinching it there. So the cool guys are the guys that are in the bar that just. Get themselves a 50 euro bar tab. Let's see who's uh, winning between the bar and the home. Home clinchy. Just about. Oh, got tight every, at the end. There. Everybody in the bar, you let us down. You're all a bunch of losers. Um, everybody home has got COVID. You're a loser. You're a loser. Yeah, Scotty. You're a loser. Loser. Losers. And um, none of you else because you all came in. So, who came in second spot in the bar? We've got to work that one out now. That would be. Cat related team. Cat related team. You get yourself a picture of Foster's lads. If you didn't have enough drink anyway. My God. <laughs> Can't take them glasses. You, you did. You get robbed at another quiz. But then, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you very much for coming into the bar. Appreciate it, lads. When this opens back up and we can have six, no, nine o'clock to 11 o'clock, it is a lot more fun. We promise you that. And the questions will be right. I promise that as well. And we are going to drop those home people like hot snots. Gone. Yeah, we get rid of you people at home. We don't want you anymore. And one last warning to Danny Corona. Danny Corona, drop back or uh, Baywatch boy. Please, drop it back. Um, to everybody in the bar, thank you very much for coming out. You still got about half an hour of drinking time. So all oh, that lad's not even buying a drink. They came in and had a glass of water. 
Fuck. Go for the match. I know I'm the same. Is, is the lemon free in the water? <laughs> I'll have two of those, please. I'll have two lemons and two four ice cubes. Um, and we'll see you all soon at home. Bye, everybody at home. Bye.